In 1994, the United States, this great country, in the previous decade had said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, the Berlin Wall. Well now, not 10 years later, the United States is building a wall. That was 1994, Operation Gatekeeper. Before Operation Gatekeeper, one or two people would die every month crossing through the desert or the mountains. After Operation Gatekeeper, one or two people die every day. 10,000 people have died since Operation Gatekeeper began. They, they didn't come here in an air-conditioned car. They walked through this scorching or freezing desert. You know, and this water might be the difference between life and death for them. It's, it's very humbling. Border Rangels, who was at that time still just going to the canyons, shifted its focus from just going to the canyons, where we still go, to going out to the desert to place water. We started doing this around 1996. There's a cemetery in the Imperial Valley. It's in Holtville. And we go there and we put these crosses. These crosses are made by students. And it says, no olvidados, or not forgotten. So we go there and we plant these crosses in this cemetery where there's 700 unidentified migrants buried. And these people that are dying out there are real people. It's not just 10,000 as a number. Marco Antonio Villasenor was one of, those boys, one of those people that died. He was just a little five-year-old boy. And he died for the number one reason that these 10,000 people die. He died because his dad was crossing with him, and his dad was looking for economic opportunity. He was looking for a job. So as he crosses with his son and other people, the little boy becomes very thirsty. And he asks his dad for water. And his dad won't give him any water. So he asks the next man and the next man and the next. He asked 18 men for water. And neither of these 18 men would give the little boy water. And why not? They were already dead. The father was dead. The 17 other men were dead. And the little boy also dies. This is happening every day. That's not what this country is all about. And that's why it's important that we all make a difference. Because the person that's going to make a difference is the person that we look at in the mirror every day. A lot of my students have become active in Border Angels and, um, and have become active you know, in important global issues. And he, he awakened the spirit in them that was really beautiful. I think uh, the folks that volunteer for Border Angels are heroes. You know, they save a lot of people's lives. The Border Angels uh, was started 26 years ago. And it got started in San Diego, in the canyons of North County, San Diego. Uh, I went into those canyons and saw that there was people living down there. And I thought, we got to do something about this. So that's how it started. So it's a pretty diverse group. We have one mission. If I was hungry, did you give me to eat? If I was thirsty, did you give me to drink? In other words, helping our fellow man. He's also a great storyteller. And I think that's really important when you're doing what he does. He, he puts a human face on things. You know, he's been able to, to um, you know, put a human face on the immigration situation. And before that, it was all about statistics and all about, you know, arrests and deportations and, and deaths and, you know, but you know, he comes and tells stories like, well, you know, this is this person and here's what happened to them. And, you know, you, it makes you feel, you know, emotional about the situation rather than just analytical. I think that's important. There was a guy that came to my school and gave a speech that really moved me. It's a very powerful story. And it's the story of a man walking along the beach with his, with his son. And as he's walking along the beach with his son, his son is picking up some starfish, and he's throwing these starfish into the ocean. So the father says to the son, what are you doing? And he says, you're throwing these starfish into the ocean. And the father says, yeah, I can see that, but, but why? And he goes, Dad, it's so hot out here. The sun is so hot, and, and the tide has gone in. These starfish are dying out here. And the father says, son, there's thousands of starfish. What you do doesn't make any difference. And the little boy picks up a starfish and he shows it to his father and he says, it'll make a difference to this one. The power of one.